Christmas with a view was one that was quite slow to get going, but once it got going, I actually found it quite likeable. This was released in 2018, directed by Justin G. Dyke, uh, written by David Finley, based on the novel by Teresa Southwick. I haven't read the book. If you've read it, feel free to let me know how it pairs and you know whether you prefer the book or the film. The description from IMDb sums this up quite nicely without spoiling anything, and this says the following. Secret aspirations between a failed restaurateur and a celebrity chef threaten their blossoming Christmas romance. It's your pretty typical boy meets girl will they won't they set within the backdrop of a restaurant setting. Shane is our celebrity chef, he's played by Scott Cavalhero, and Clara is the female love interest played by Caitlin Lieb. Their relationship to begin with is pretty interesting. Um, Clara doesn't really care about his celebrity status. Shane also has his guard up a bit because he doesn't want people to like him just for being Shane the celebrity chef. And as their relationship begins to grow, well, their friendship, they encounter all kinds of obstacles. Ultimately, will they be together by the end of the film? Will it be a Merry Christmas or will everything go south? I'm not going to say what happens. But I'll say it's pretty predictable, but in a way that's, you know, warm and fuzzy. You kind of expect certain things, and when certain things happen, you feel good about it. And it is a warm and, you know, feel-good film. It does have some obstacles that the characters have to overcome, but nothing's, you know, nothing's too dramatic. I liked it. I enjoyed it. There isn't anything about it that I think was, you know, particularly amazing. This is not in my list of top 10 Christmas films or anything like that. None of the characters... I mean, actually, I liked Shane. I liked Shane a lot. But generally speaking, none of the characters have left too much of an impression on me. But ultimately, I had a lot of fun with this one. I liked it. It's festive. It's wintry. It's it's one that you can definitely, you know, curl up and get cosy with and just spend an hour and a half watching. It's not perfect. But it's not bad either. If you're looking for a, a cosy, easy, safe, comforting Christmas film, you could definitely do a lot worse than Christmas with a view.